Hello YouTube! Welcome back to my channel. Today, Nick and I are out for our very first day of mule deer. Very first day of the mule deer season. It opened a couple days ago, but we've just been busy and it's our first night out. And it is freezing. I don't know if you can tell, but there's snow all around us and we're way up high. I mean, we're probably at 8,000 feet right now, I would guess, if not more. It's really cold, so we're gonna start moving. We're in a new zone that we haven't been in before. I saw something, an elk or a deer. It moved into the trees a little bit too fast for me to really take a good look, so we're gonna move in and hopefully we can relocate whatever it was. That's really exciting. Those are the freshest wolf tracks I have ever come across. Oh yeah, they're not coyote. They're way too big. You can see like how perfect the pattern is. So we're hiking through the timber and we come across another set of wolf tracks. So that's probably not a good sign for our deer hunting because it seems like either we're just in the area that this group is in or there are a lot of dogs out here. These ones are a little bit older. They're not as fresh as the ones that we crossed whenever we first got in here. But we also found one hell of a rub. So there's definitely a nice elk that was in here, or maybe still is in here. But we're gonna keep going in glass some more. <laughs> it's like a complete whiteout. got to the spot that looks so perfect for deer and then all of this snow came and couldn't see more than a couple hundred yards which is crazy but the good news is I do see some blue sky in the distance so <laughs> it's already getting late though we really have like 40 minutes probably 40-ish minutes of light left so we should probably start making our way back <laughs> or at least moving again because I could possibly run over there in time, but they're running like up the hill. I don't know what to do. It's a Saturday, so I can come back tomorrow if I need to, but I need to keep watching them. The buck was a fork buck and he was going uphill and I'm sorry, I'm like shaking, I'm so cold, but he ducked into some aspens. So I'm keeping an eye to see if he makes another appearance. I'm gonna keep glassing and keep an eye on him. Anyway, I just found some elk, so I'll show you them. Hold on. So that's a good sign too, but I'm going to move on as much as I love watching elk and 
see if I can find more deer. Hopefully some that are closer. I found another deer. This one is way high and way far. But it looks like it's all alone. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I think he's just a doe. I wish I had a spying scope, but I'm pretty sure that one's just a doe. My tag's buck only. Otherwise, I would definitely shoot her. But she's too far anyway. My battery's going to die. So, all three of my batteries are dead, and I think it's just because it's so dead. Last up, one doe and one fawn. Which is a great start to fawn. But we've got a buggy. Because we don't have a lot of time. We ran up that hill. We're following tracks up the whole way. And we're at a nice vantage point for one side of the valley, like one drainage. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm kind of expecting to run into a grass. But we don't have anything that we could shoot it with anyway. Well, <laughs> we made it back in the dark. We hiked and hiked and hiked. We're still hiking to get to the top, even when we had literally five to 10 minutes of shooting light left. But I think we just kind of got up there just for our own mental accomplishment but we didn't see anything besides that doe and that fawn we did see some sign which was great but we just I don't know if you can see um, we're loading up the quiet cats and that was my first time riding out in the dark so like we sat on top until the Sun was completely set and it was like pitch black hiked down and then <laughs> got to the bikes and and then had to ride out in the dark, which was my first time mountain biking in the dark. And it was absolutely terrifying, but, oh, oh, nice. It was terrifying, but it went really well, really, really well. Other than the end, I kind of fell into a hole, but it was good. I was wearing my helmet, so even if I did crash, at least my noggin would be safe. <laughs> Overall, the bikes were an absolute saving grace for us even to get as far back as we did. We would not have made it that far without the bikes and with such limited time with the sun setting so early, like that potentially could have, you know, given us the opportunity to kill a deer had the correct deer been back there. But I mean, we got to the back of the drainage. We did. We, I mean, if there was more light, we could have glassed and then made a move on things, but we made it as far back and up as we wanted to, which is an accomplishment in itself. 
So that is going to end my mule deer season. And it has been quite frustrating because I feel like I haven't had as much time as I would like, although I'm sure everybody feels that way a lot of the time. You know, when you feel like you just want more time to hunt. I'm very excited to go back east and hunt whitetail and then there are some really, really exciting adventures ahead that I cannot wait to fill you guys in on, but it is not time quite yet. But big, cool things are coming. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm really tired, if you can't tell. Right now, as you're watching this, I am in Jackson, Wyoming at the Shift Conference. So that is why my deer season is ending. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next 